All right, welcome back everyone. Um, so you guys uh, earned some video game time with all the uh, physical activity you did this morning. So we'll uh, um, go back to one of our uh, original uh, segments, uh, gaming with uh, Gary. I think he's got some uh, guest uh, um, reviewers today with him and uh, looking forward to seeing, I know he's been taking requests, so looking forward to seeing what games he, uh, he landed on today. So yeah. Gary. Great. Good morning from, uh, actually I'm in Utica, uh, but good morning from Heath Powell's. And uh, I'm going to unmute a few people real quick. Let's see here real quick. And we are going to do a couple of different video games today. Wait, two different video games today? Oh, and if you hear that, that's my little mini-me, Asher, um, who is... Five years old. I five, he's five years old. Thank I you. I just turned five. He also has his right shirt on, so or shirt on the right way. There we go. So, it's a rainbow shirt. It's a rainbow shirt. Okay. So anyhow, so we're going to do um, a couple different games. We're going to do Animal Crossing and uh, Metal Gear Solid. Um, and a couple of people had requested Animal Crossing, so we're going to go ahead and start out with that. My uh, wonderful wife is going to be doing that. Uh, I personally just want to thank everybody for being here, and I want to give a couple of um, uh, personal achievements for myself today. Um, this is my, well, yesterday, I guess, was my two-year anniversary at PALS um, as the program director there, and then uh, June 29th was my one-year anniversary, so uh, just uh, some big, big milestones in my life, so I wanted to share those with everybody. Um, all right, well, listen, so I'm, as always, if you have questions or concerns, feel free to put them in the chat box at the bottom. Uh, here, nice. All right. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and get this going. So we're going to go ahead and do Animal Crossing. My wife is going to go ahead and play it because I have no clue how to play it. <laughs> so, and, and we must do a copy of that game you didn't even use it, though we doubt it. Okay, my son is telling on me, so you will hear that a lot. My son likes to tell on me. Um, if, stand last night. That is so not appropriate, so oh. that is not the case. Okay, sorry, my son is having a little bit of a meltdown, so. All right, so uh, anyhow, so Hazel's going to talk um, or answer questions. So if you have questions about Animal Crossing, raise your hand and I'll, or just put it in chat. All right, go ahead. This is Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've never played another Animal Crossing the first time. So when you start out in Animal Crossing, you get to pick your island. I let Asher pick, so this is our eye. <laughs> so Lauren said she just started playing Animal Crossing. Does she like it? Uh, do you like it, Lauren? This is my house. When you start out, you get a tent. I'll show you a tent, because Gary still has a tent. Oh, you got a gnome, too? Man. All right. So I'm going I'm through. I'm on my island today. I think I have an umbrella. Um, these are my neighbors. They just, you can invite people to live on your island. You can give them presents and they give you presents. This is Zane's tent and that's Gary's tent. This is what you start out with. So when you first start the game, you have to pay $500 to get a house. Or bells, not really dollars, but bells to get a house. So they didn't pay their money, so they live in a tent. And my island came with apple trees. Everybody's island comes with different fruits. How do you how do you build a house? You have to pay off your tent first, and then when you pay off your tent, you get a basic looks like this kind of house. It has one room. They have one room. They're not in there. Okay. It's one room house, so you get one room at first, and when you pay off that house, you get another room. You keep paying them off, and they keep getting bigger and bigger. 
actually at my house, I'm on like the fourth level. How do you how do you pay them off? So you can take your trees that you got, and if you shake them, they'll give you fruits, like coconuts and apples, and then you can take those and I'll show you my flowers. You can grow flowers to Do you have any pineapple trees? No, I don't. Pineapple sombra. See yeah, a trick question. <laughs> Um, oh, what's up, Ivy? So you can pick all these flowers, and I got bamboo and all that stuff. So, and then you go over to this shop over here. There's these two guys, Timmy and Tommy. They're actually in front of the shop. Oh, you, you can pull vault that far? No. <laughs> no, I can't. All right, my son's back, so. All right, this is the shop. It also starts out in the tent, but it gets bigger as you play. Go inside. And you can move a job. And you can move it if you want. You come over here if you want. And it'll take 50,000 bells. 50,000. Come on over. This well, is Timmy and Tommy. Why do you want to move the shop? And, uh, and Mommy moved it already. But so. why do you want to move it? That, um, I, I'm just telling them you can move it. Okay. So you give them stuff, and like I can sell my flowers, and I can sell my apples, and they give me money. And that's and that's the, the 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 that's all you do. So you can uh. And there's, and there's one big guy. Some Hazel has can make uh what did you say like a hundred thousand bells a day. Yes. But how long did it take you to get that far to be able to do like that? So in a month, she's able to make about a hundred thousand bells, which is the money on this. This guy is a slob. He's a special visitor. He sells flowers. And, there, and there's buy. other people that come to, to get stuff for you. There's other visitors, too. There's a bug, a lady that buys you all your bugs, and then there's a guy and, that buys all your and there And then there's Lazarus, and that gives you, uh, gives you a, a, an axe and you a game. You have a museum. Oh. This is where you go to upgrade your house. This is Tom Nook. He's the mayor of the island. They upgrade your house to we'll talk to him and, and change stuff. And then, have you ever heard of like that dog, them Target? That's what you start off with and Target dog. Target dog. So the, the thing about this game is um, everything is time like real time based. Yes. So, well, I mean, not exactly, but if you plant a tree, you have to wait for the tree to grow. Yes. If you build a house, you have to wait to till the house is done being built. So um, those do take time. Yes. And uh, Isabel, she's pretty useless, but she's here. <laughs> um, yeah, you trees. You can plant a money tree, and it gives you more money. But it takes like three days to get the money from the tree. So or die days. And then here, every couple of days, you can get more fruit if you water stuff. I'm really bad at oh wait, it and there's in the golden spots give yes. you money. Right. So if you dig up the golden spots on the ground, you get money. You get a thousand dollars. A thousand bells. And then you can take those thousand bells and plant them back in the ground. And then your money tree will grow and you get three thousand bells from it. So it and triples your income, whatever you plant. And then you have nail. And they have mail too. I'll show you my museum, my house. And and I'm gonna I'm gonna have museum too. And I will answer all your questions. Sometimes around the island there'll be little stars on the ground. If you dig them up, there'll be fossils in them. And then you can come to over here to the museum. You give them to this guy Blathers, the owl. Literally get nothing for it except for a museum. So oh, they don't give you any money. They don't give you anything. They just give you. But but you can look at them anytime you want. Well, we can look around. And it takes forever to get a painting. Yeah. So here's the fossils. We'll get those over here. I want to get the fossils. Oh, I you complete them, he just says good job. So there's that. Oh. Nice uh, oh, that's a bee. Uh, we we did this this one more tweet. We did. And you know what we got for it? Nothing. Did you catch a shark? Yeah, I did catch a shark. It's the only shark I've ever caught. And, and can you tell you dumping dairy dinosaurs? There's dumping dairy dinosaurs in the water room. In the water room. Yes. Can you go to the 
Aquarium. Yeah, and there's something very so nice in there. You could complete your museum. It's just a secondary task. It's not really important, but some people think it's fine. So. And I completed all of the. I got down to all of the stamps in every Is that round. a pickle? Pickle? I don't think I ever caught a pickle. It's probably an eel. No, it looks like a pickle. All right, and I have an art room, but I haven't bought any art in any of these weapons. She's unsophisticated. She hasn't bought any art yet. Uh, you know, I don't like to spend $4,000 on it for no reason. <laughs> it's for art. There's my aquarium. We only have one art. Um, wow, that's crazy. You have an aquarium? Yeah. My and where's the dog? What's in there? Absolutely nothing because I haven't caught anything yet. I got there, there's invisible fish in this says, room. We humbly ask for your donations. That the, that might be a whale. A whale? We haven't caught a whale yet. But we caught the dark. Where's that shark. dark? Where's the dark? More fishies. No, this is the room I wanted you to be. Because it walks. You can walk behind it. And, and you can go through a tunnel and you're under the water. Has anybody ever been to an aquarium where you go under the water? No. no. Oh, yeah. Like a oh, yeah, there's the a water. tunnel. Yeah. I, I guess I was thinking more of a, in a realistic sense, like... Um, Where's the dark, Mom? Like there's big it's aquariums like where your the aquarium is actually underwater. I think like Jaws 3, if you guys have ever seen oh, that. No, okay. Anyway, that's that. So... You have a lot of options to buy things. The stuff that is in the shop I showed you changes every day. So every day you have different things that you can buy from there. So is the easiest way to make money on this buying turnips? No. How's the, what's the easiest way to make money on this? Growing flowers. So the easiest way to... Okay, all right, fair enough. So the easiest way to make money And money, money please. And that's the easiest way to get money. So you can pick all these flowers and you can go sell them. Sometimes if you get the flowers, like I have these black roses, if you get flowers that are a certain color and put them next to each other, they make new color flowers. So, and you can buy basically anything you want. It's really cool. They, oh, oh the, and you take those, you get dots. So stick that. that tree. It's not a fossil, mommy bury it up there. Oh, oh, oh so you have a cotton candy maker? Just yeah. In the middle. Of when we're making well, a, a park. park. I got a cotton candy maker. Kind of makes noise, but yeah. ah, I picked it up. I didn't mean to do that. Well, that's yeah, that's now. awkward. It's awkward. Cotton candy maker, popcorn machine, Actually, water fountain, beach ball, riding horse, elephant slide. You know, go to the playground. You can sit on it, but you can't climb it. I didn't know you could sit on it. Yeah. Can you do it all the way on the top? Surfboard. And sometimes if you shake the trees, not the coconut trees, but the regular trees, they just randomly drop furniture. So you get new furniture for your house, which I'll shave my house here in a minute. Oh, and those are mine too! Okay. Those are... I have some bridges, but not a lot, because so I have to pull water a lot. <laughs> across the water. Uh, I do not recommend pool vaulting across water. No, just just FYI. I would definitely take a bridge of caution. So in you turn your way. island, you can only stay on the bottom level because you don't have a ladder or anything like that. So eventually you get a ladder and you're able to build bridges across the and, water. And, and, or maybe a ramp. I think it's a this house. This is somebody else's house. What are you doing? But so you do got to be very tenacious at this game because, like, you have to – you start out with a really subpar shovel and axe. This is the first kind of house you get is this is one room. So when you buy your first house, it looks like this. Except it doesn't have, like, a bookshelf. It has or, nothing in it. You have to buy all this stuff. You get a sleeping just, bag. Yes, and a cot. Or a cot. You get a cot when you have Rachel. Or a cot, yes. So, so this is her house. This is what your first house looks like. If you guys have never slept on a cot, be, no, wait, be wait. thankful. No, wait, wait. He has a mystery mark on top of his head. I know. I'll talk to you right now. And then... And you can talk to people. You can talk to people. I thought there was only animals on the side island. There are only animals. There's no people. There are only animals. This is Asher's house. This is what your house looks like after you upgraded this second time. All right. Also, I'm going through a garden gnome phase. 
because I planted a really big garden in our yard. So I get excited when I know, see gnomes. I actually had a lengthy conversation with one of our people. And uh, I got the pet. A guardian of uh, somebody who attends Pals and Heath uh, about how she gets all of her gnomes. So that's that's adult life, I think. All of a sudden, it made me feel really old. I have a pet centipede. Yeah. Oh. If you catch an animal, you can keep it in your house. Can you eat it? No. Oh. You only eat fruit. What about that cake? That cake looked good. That was his birthday cake. That was your birthday cake? Yes. And then he was at a race car bed. So you got a race car bed? You had a spider in your house. But she just <laughs> killed his pet spider. <laughs> He's not a pet. Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> it's actually his oh, race car bed. Lord. That's the second house you get with two rooms. I'm going to show you my house because it's bigger. You have spiders. You need to come back. <laughs> anyway, if you don't come to your house for a long time, you get spiders. I'm so sure. That. I'm sure my tent has a giant spider in there somewhere. Wait, my mail. Laura Perky loves spiders. I think I might actually bring her, our pet spider there at uh, our pal's location. And I should be thankful. So this is my house. We my don't have room. a spider. Is it a really big house? It's got four rooms. Is your, you know, my house. Not a big house. Yeah, no. It's my bathroom slash laundry room. I got a bidet. Oh, I can you, can you go potty? No. What do you got going on there, Jose? In a tub. Can you go in the tub? No, you can't sit on the toilet. I guess if you want to. Um, <laughs> oh, you're going too. Ew, I want to do the. Anyway, that's my laundry room slash bathroom. And then. Uh, let's see. This what, is what, my kitchen. You can buy different wallpapers and different flooring too. Different rugs. This is my kitchen. I got a ice cream nightlight. Boom. <laughs> um, the kitchen. Toaster. Uh, kitchen, bedroom, kitchen, bathroom. Yeah. I'm calling it right now. And over here is my recreation room. Rec room, we'll call it. Okay. Can you play any video games in it? I have foosball. Foosball. I have pinball. You can get the Nintendo play. Which makes noise, but I have a drum set. Makes noise also. Um, wait. The pinball says what makes noise? A locker. It's an upright locker. You can change your clothes. I do have a lot of clothes though. <laughs> and this is my kettlebell for working out. So this is my room, my playroom. And then I just got my bedroom. I see a bunch of video game going on. Um, I do like how Jonah uh, introduced uh, this segment as being a, as an OG. So I think we should go as, as the original gamers. I think that'd be awesome. Show my room, bedroom real quick. Mm -hmm. then you can go to other islands to travel. From, they have an airport, so. I think, I think Rosé's playing uh, Far Cry 5. That's my bedroom with a pet frog. You got a pet frog? What's, its, what's its name? Kermit. Oh, that's very original. Mm, I, I like it. I don't, I don't know. My my name to my centipede is centipede. Okay, my son's name for his centipede is is centipede. That's <laughs> also very original. So you get nook miles if you chop down trees, oops, break rocks, are you go okay? fishing. Are you sure? Literally anything on the island that you mouse for. I'll show you that real quick. Yeah. Okay. If you open up yeah. your phone, this is you your sure? camera. This is all the bugs and crap you've caught. Shows you everything you've caught in here, and the, and these are all new. Wow, oh, your fish. Okay. And it tells you if you it tells you about the fish when you can catch them and stuff. All right. And then this is your nook miles, which you can re you can use for stuff, and then it tells you what kind of stuff. Um, you can use it to get tickets to go to other people's islands. So if you go to the airport over here. So my island only had apples in the very beginning. So I had to go to the airport and fly to other people's islands and get more fruits and it's, uh, trees. It's, it's dangerous to bring fruits from foreign lands to other Canadian yeah. lands, just stuff like that. Anyway, this is Dodo Airlines. 
and if you can get a ticket from the uh, shop, you can fly to other people's islands and get different kinds of trees. So. I can't see what game CJ. I have apple trees. That's what I started out with. I have cherry trees, orange trees, peach trees, bamboo, and coconuts. All right. So everything you collect, you can sell. So I just caught this bug, an earth boring dung beetle. And I could just sell them and they give me money. So anything you collect on the island, you can sell and then you can use that money to buy whatever you want. Oh, but it's time to plant it. You can look at it anytime you want. All right. And it, and, and Dr. Bear is a lot. All right. So let's see here real this quick. Is And, you, and if you want to go over there, you can get different people's stuff. So you can start a savings account so you don't lose any of your money. So you put your, this is how much money I owe. It's a lot, and 1248000 bells. So you can put money in there, and it gets collects interest every month. So you can pay off your house faster. And then this is where you get your Nook Miles. I have 3670 so I can buy any of this stuff. All right. This is de mostly decorations at this point, so oh, there's awesome I can buy a porta potty if I want to. <laughs> there's a awesome robot. You skipped it. Oh, a play I'm not button. buying a robot. And no, you skipped a play button. The guest clip. Then I already got the play button. No. I'm saving up for a soccer goal. That's my next thing I want to buy. No, All but right. there's, there's a horsey thing. I have that. One. And then you also can. Oops, that's the wrong button. Sorry, guys. To spend your money here too. So, doing this nook shopping thing. Now, this stuff that you order takes a few days to get to you. So, you can order it now. It won't be here for like two or three days. Do they not have Amazon Prime? They do not have Amazon Prime on the side. Yeah, see, days. this is why I don't like Animal Crossing. They have no Amazon Prime. I'm gonna buy some rain boots though. Like if I order it, I want it now. I want it now. Listen, all the, clothes the amount of Amazon buy. boxes in this house you could build another house to be for real so oh. you're a fashionable type not me i wear the same clothes all the time <laughs> and then that's okay she she's in a room by herself it's okay it's you feel breeze in my oh i like the wind yeah yep not for sale sorry <sighs> not today so that's jacked up so it's not really for sale there's certain days all right all right. Does anybody have any questions? Anybody have any questions or concerns before we switch to the next game? Lauren does not have. Sweat. I see what you're doing over there, uh, Jose. You playing Far Cry Five? Yes, I am. Yep, this is Far Cry. All right. Yeah, Far Cry. That's it. So, can you the? So, uh, summer and spring are my least favorite time of the year is because I get allergies so bad, which is great because of this whole COVID thing going around. Like, I go to the uh, store and people give me a very, can you just say it? Sorry. They give me a very wide berth, uh, like, because I look like I'm super sick and all I have is seasonal allergies. Yeah. Well, Jose has been having allergies too. He's been playing a lot. Oh, can you, can you share that again? Jose? Oh, that he's been having allergies, but he's been playing a lot and he likes this game a lot. The Last Guardian. Yeah. Hold on. I gotta. Yeah. I was going to get that. I remember you saying something about that. So, anyhow, uh, and I apologize. Can you. I don't know what I do with the PlayStation. Oh, it's right here. So, um, uh, Jonah had requested that we. Um, play um, um, a Metal Gear game or a Battlefield game. So I'll do that real quick. I just uh, I just downloaded this. Uh, it was one of the free games on uh, on PlayStation Plus, and I've I haven't played it in a while. So, but this is um, this is uh, Metal Gear Solid. Uh, the Phantom Pain, so Metal Gear Solid Five. Um, 
Now, let's remove this back. I'm uh, checking out Jose's games also, so I see that he has quite a bit. Nice. So this is a very beginning. I kind of wanted to talk about just uh, how games evolve or whatever. So um, the first game I remember playing that was Metal Gear. Well, you see this person getting snuffed in the background. Um, the first Metal Gear was very, um, very. It was a. Uh, it was played over the top, like over the top view. And there's a lot of looking at different, um, like different clues and whatnot. But where Metal Gear really made the next leap um, for for video gaming, it was Metal Gear Solid Two. Um, man, so that's that's the the rough view right there. Um, but Metal Gear Solid Two was it got a lot of. Uh, Bad press. It wasn't really bad press, but it's like when uh, when uh, oh, what do you call it? Um, Mortal Kombat was coming out, and so basically, where gore and, and everything was really starting to be um, part of video games. So where Metal Gear Solid Two got a lot of um, a lot of issues is because like the whole breaking of necks was very. I guess very graphic for its time. Uh, if you can imagine that a PlayStation One being, uh, or it might have, yeah, it was a PlayStation One being graphic. So, um, but you'd sneak up some behind somebody and basically hug their neck, and then you'd hear the the cracking sound of someone's neck, and uh, which is which is weird because even when Metal Gear Solid Two had came out, there was uh, Silent Hill, which was which is to this day one of the most terrifying games I've ever played. So. Uh, a lot of people say Resident Evil, but to, for me, Metal Gear Solid is uh, the most terrifying game I've ever played. So, um, and it's uh, realistic. Or I'm sorry, Silent Hill is one of the most terrifying games I've ever played. Not Metal Gear, but the graphics of Metal Gear Solid Two really evolved, uh, like gameplay for like um, Grand Theft Auto and stuff. And then there was also uh, I'm trying to think. Um, I'm trying to think of what. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm sorry. I got, so the people who actually did Silent Hill, Konami, is the people who made this Konami. So um, Konami games were like Contra, um, Ninja Gaiden, like a lot of really cool games back in the uh you know back in the the early days or whatever so and they actually did a lot of um um i guess starship games like galaga uh, that were like galaga they weren't really galaga though so but you can see like this this game is older because uh i mean one of the hardest things to actually do is fire um, which they do a really good job for a, um, for an older game, but fire is one of the the uh, more difficult things to do on video games. Anyhow, sorry. Um, so this is all the very beginning of um, of Metal Gear. And if, if you guys have played Metal Gear, then you know that this is Snake, who is like the main character of uh, Metal Gear. Which is, a, uh, I mean, Snake is like, uh, you know, Link or Super Mario or uh, Mario Brothers. I mean, he just he's just iconic, like Master Chief from Halo. I can't tell what, uh, oh, this is, okay. So the one thing I do like about Metal Gear is that some of the, some of the, uh, the fight scenes are very realistic of how you actually would do a firefight. 
Um, and actually, Gears of War was too, uh, was also one of those games where, um, you know, having like suppressing fire and, and stuff like that was, uh, was important. It's uh, very unnerving to see Snake in a, in a bad position like this. Like Snake was the uh, ultimate um, bamp, you know? He just, uh, you know, there's certain people who, who you think of in that way that are just, just bad, bad individuals who can't be hurt or killed or whatever, so. Um, just out of curiosity, um, has Jose played uh, any other Gears of War? I don't know if he can see us or not. I don't, think, I don't think he can, actually. I can't remember if I asked him that or not, so. He says yes now, yeah, that he's played it. <laughs> okay. Did he enjoy it? I feel like this is the slowest low crawl on the face. Yes, he enjoyed it, yes. He, and, uh, he did it toward the, um, he did it till the end, yeah, until he won. Fair enough. So just like uh, all the games that we play, they have like this very beginning tutorial scene. So the way it started out is like, uh, I think every single game you've ever played, like it gets you used to the directional pads or whatever. Um, and actually the cool thing about this game is uh, um, this, uh, this franchise is so respected that um, they actually had help from outside um, um, outside um, makers because the individual who actually made these games had passed away uh, during the middle. So, like, this is not only like like a, like a really good game just because of graphically and whatever, but it was also like kind of a tribute to. Um, and I, I, I won't even try to butcher his name, but. Uh, um, a gentleman who had actually passed away that was very, very well thought of in the video game uh, world, so. Well, that's not good. Um, anyhow, so most Metal, Metal Gear Solid games are solid 60 hours of games uh, or gameplay. Uh, this one is probably every bit of a hundred. Uh, and I mean, if you're in, basically what I'm saying is you have to put aside some time to play this game. So, so you can kind of zoom in and check out these cool scenes, which uh, like this is really from like the, the newer Squaresoft um, games where, uh, which is really awesome because Square helped put some of the, some of this in here. Um, and actually the, the people who did uh, Gods of War also had some input on this game and really helped out, so. And you can see, you can see like, uh, you can see how different people um, really help develop this game because it doesn't feel just like a Konami game. Anyhow, sorry. I forgot to see if there's, uh, we have about five minutes before, um, I'll start taking questions and stuff. So, I mean, the thing that's cool about this, like the graphics are really, really good. There's definitely a lot of, uh, oh, no way. Um, does that poster look familiar to anybody? I don't know if you can see it now. Uh, I think, so Splinter Cell, right? Um, pretty, uh, I'll join the Fox team, that is crazy. So this is actually uh, uh, 
a, a spin out or a shout out to uh, to Splinter Cell, which is by Konami. So I, I never noticed that before. So one of the things that you, or one of the first things you notice is there's not um, a lot of anti allison things going on. Like all of the skin is is smooth. Like uh, you know, like the graphics from this to uh, to Animal Crossing are like uh, just apples to oranges to me. But I, and again, I don't think graphics are everything, but. Um, you def I enjoy good graphics that have good games. Um, sorry. So one of the things that really bothers me is, is how hair appears on people. So, and this isn't so bad. Like it's, it's a little bad, but it's not as bad as some or most. It's always creepy when you see a smoke grenade rolling towards you. All right, so it looks like we're into the game now. So this is, so if you guys have not played Splinter Cell before, Splinter Cell has a lot of characteristics as Metal Gear. Um, like the whole stealth, um, actually Metal Gear made, I can't remember the name of it, but made a game that was just based off of stealth and, and um, avoidance and whatnot and then they made a game called splinter cell off of it so completely two different games uh i guess they are all in the same world which i did not notice until just now actually so oh that's not good Pretty sure this guy is not going to make it any further. It's not good. Oh, that's just extremely gross and disturbing. So the the other thing about uh this game that you notice at the very beginning is uh, is the uh, just the flow of the uniforms and stuff like that. I mean, it really did really good as far as trying to capture shadows. Like the shadows are spot on. I mean, there's just uh, I mean, even the light in their eyes, man, is pretty spectacular. I think this game is. I think it's three or four years old. So, like, so thinking about you know 2016 or whatever is a, a game being made. So, uh, definitely, definitely some attention to detail that a lot of game developers did not put into it. So, no, that's not good. So it definitely has like a terror, um, a terror feel to it. Actually, speaking of, so Metal Gear also did a, a zombie apocalypse game, if you guys did not know it. And it got really bad reviews, which, I mean, again, it's a game that you have to put some time into, but it's, it's pretty fun, actually. You got to build a fortress and stuff like that, and... Uh, I mean, it, it takes away the stealth aspect of things and uh, of it, and some of it is a little ridiculous, so that's not good. So we know these guys are going to get shot. Oh, oh man. Crazy.
crazy, crazy. So it looks like we're going to crouch. Sorry. All right. So I'm at one. We got like four minutes. Man. So action cover. So if you see, oh man, I'm running out of time where it gets good. So the thing that I was saying that this game has is action cover. So you, you see what I'm saying? Like, because I didn't actually do it, I got shot. So and I'll show you how to actually fix it. Gosh, man, I wish I had more time to do this because, like, this is really the original where, um, like, covering and stuff like that really took takes place or whatever. So, um, action cover. So uh, I'm trying to figure this out as we go. So, so you see how he's kind of hugging the wall. versus being in the middle. So, and then you see people are kind of coming up behind us. So L3 is our dash button. So, and listen, this game like just gives you a Oh man, like it, it's it's a solid game. Uh, not no pun intended because Metal Gear Solid, but it is. Uh, you just you can already like your heart start beating a little bit faster, and man, Konami does a really good job like of this, uh, especially with like like I said, Silent Hill and Splinter Cell, like the importance of uh, of cover and and just being aware of your surroundings. So. Uh, I probably am going to be stuck playing this all weekend. Thanks, Jonah. I appreciate that. So, uh, all right, listen, uh, if, does anybody have any questions or concerns? If you do, raise your hand. Oh, okay, CJ, I want to unmute you real quick. I'll go ahead. And... I was playing um, Sonic on my PlayStation, on my Nintendo Switch. I saw, I, um, I did not see, I have not played so Listen, so don't get mad when I say this, but I am not a big Sonic fan. Like to me, like when you played Sonic at the beginning, he's like this hedgehog running around catching, like running, like yeah. catching little going, uh, I don't know what they're called, like the little, they, were, they weren't coins, they were, uh, I can't, they were hoops, they were golden hoops. Yeah. And it just didn't feel like there was a, a point to it, so. I was playing Mario Kart 8 too. I love some Mario Kart 8. Listen, me and my me and my kids play it, and uh, uh, there's a lot of memes about it. But like, uh, I, I show no mercy when I'm playing Mario Kart. Like, I will get I, like you know, there we you know, we are very proud people when we win Mario Kart 8 here. So and my son will will overly joy when he there's one times that he wins or whatever, and he never wins. But like, if he hits you with a turtle shell or whatever, he'll let you know he hits you with a turtle shell. So, and then he'll laugh hysterically and lose it even more, so. Uh, and I play Kappa, Kappa Wars. What game? It's called Cap Game, it's called Kappa Wars. Oh, okay. No, I know what you're referring to. I, yeah, I've, I've never actually played it. Um, yeah, it's Game of Wars. Game, yeah, no, I've heard of it. Uh, I've never actually played it. Play, and I get beat a lot in it. <laughs> Listen, so that's okay, though. Like, I get beat all the time in games, and that's just how you learn how to play them or whatever. You, so. just, you saw me play on the TV? Yeah, I saw you. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I was doing good. Yeah, you was. <laughs> um, I love video games. So let's see here. So I think my time is actually up here. So, man, listen, I appreciate you guys seeing you guys, Jose and, and Caitlin and all you guys. Mm -hmm. I, I hope to see you guys again next next week. Um, listen, have a very safe 4th of July weekend. Um, and, uh, I, I look forward to seeing you guys next week, uh, doing the same thing. So, uh, before I go, does anybody have any, uh, questions, concerns before? No. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna let Jonah take over again. Have a great, uh, 4th of July and stay safe. Oh, wait, I have someone, I think I have one question. Hold on. Let's see here. Go ahead. Uh, I really like your video games. I appreciate it, man. I, I appreciate yep. it. I like seeing you guys on here. So have a safe weekend. Let me unmute. Oh, you're good. Okay. Thanks, Gary. Yeah, I uh, 
I'm with you. I might have to go get that game, but I know uh, I'm going to be losing quite a bit of uh, um, time in my day if I, if I do, because that game looks really fun. So uh, um, thank you guys for um, hanging out with uh, Gary and, and uh, letting me abuse my uh, uh, producer privileges by requesting Metal Gear Solid. So um, and thank you, Gary, for, for showing us that. So I will uh, we'll be uh, back here in about 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, um, start setting up for the next segment. And uh, we'll let you guys unmute yourself here shortly. Uh, so you guys can socialize for a little bit. We'll see you guys soon.